Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited that you joined me today and I'm excited to show you what I'm going to be making. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. So today I'm going to be finishing this um, fall tray that I've been working on and I have measured where I want to put the handles so I marked it with the black tape there on the side of the mold and we're going to start off by putting in a layer of clear resin and I'm using Pro Marine which is a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm just going to get a good layer on there. I mixed up about six ounces and I'm going to heat it up and then go in with my hand and move it around and make sure that all the surface is covered. And then I'm going to mix some more colors up. I'm going to start with a little bit of this vivid red orange from latex heavy body acrylics and some of the i put this in the first layer and it's kind of disappeared a little bit so i want to add a little bit more and the next thing i'm going to mix is a little bit of stone coat countertops gold dust mica powder and you have to stir this very slowly because it just flies everywhere so once you get it incorporated then it's fine but when you start it just flies everywhere and i also want to use some of this fairy tale glitter um, michelangelo and it has all of the colors that i've already used it is a chunky mix um, color shift and you can see the green and the orange and some gold in there it is absolutely gorgeous and i'm also going to use some of this uh, macro pearl from pearlax it's a pearly white and it just kind of leaves a really um, like shadowy looking it's just really pretty kind of just floats on top so I'm adding the rest of that resin because it was getting warm and uh, it would be setting up pretty soon in that cup if I didn't. And I'm starting out with the Pearlex Pearl White in the center and then a little bit of the orange. And I'm just going to highlight between the green and the pearl with that gold dust. I think that will help both of those stand out. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the gold, just little streams around in between the colors to kind of to make them pop as well. And then we'll go in with the Michelangelo chunky color shifting glitter. I'm going around the green with that because I think those two colors next to each other will really shine make them both really look good and go all the way up here and around and do a little bit right here a little there and then I'm going to go around the uh, orange also just kind of so that will sh make that show up more. And then we'll come back with some more of the orange and I'm going to put that on the inside of where that pearl is so that it will kind of make that line of the pearl really show up. I'm going to put a little couple streams around, divide a little bit of the other colors, just a little bit. Then I'm going to go back with some more of the gold 
and outline the glitter. And you won't see it right now, you'll see it towards the end, but um, my camera stopped and I also put some chunky gold stream in the center on the other side of that orange that um, is right there. But uh, there's so much depth to this with the, so many different layers. And I let this set for about a 45 minutes to an hour so that my um, resin would uh, start setting up so that I could put my handles in there and then um, they would stay and not fall over. <laughs> And I'm pushing them down into the resin, and then I'm going to let this set. Heat that up a little bit. I'm going to let it dry, and then I am going to add another layer over top of that another clear layer and I'm making sure that it gets all the way up to the edges all around the little posts there I'm just moving it around and I'm going to heat it up make sure we have no bubbles and that it uh, is everywhere it needs to be and then it has set for a couple of days and I'm ready to demold it and I want to use this gold leaf around the edges and it's kind of got it's not like just real gold it, it's got some bronze or some uh, copper look to it and so I'm just going to start slowly demolding this and then once I get it demolded here it is isn't it gorgeous just so love those colors and you can see that little stream of gold glitter that I was talking about right on the inside of the orange in the center but it is just gorgeous I love it let me turn it around so you can get a good look at the other side as well Look at that, it just sparkles and shimmers. It is so pretty. So I am ready to do the edges now. And what I'm going to be using is um, this gold leaf adhesive or metal leaf adhesive, I guess. And what it is, is it's a clear, I mean, a white liquid and um, it's kind of thick but you just put it wherever you're going to add the um, gold leaf at and let it set for a little bit and uh, probably about 30 minutes and then it turns clear but it's real tacky so that your gold leaf sticks right to it and then you just smooth it down and I went all the way around the edges and then I just brushed off the excess of the um, gold leaf and it just goes on so easy but it is kind of messy you can see the little bits and pieces there but here's the edges and I just think it's so pretty I love it Here it is, all finished, and those colors are just absolutely gorgeous. I love how it looks. I love the depth with the different layers. It's hard to capture that on the camera. And you can see right here where I did add that layer of gold on the inside of the um, pearl mica powder and I also I forgot that I also added a little bit a brown um, from recollections 
um, it's a chunky and you can see it right here it's just over some of that mica that's below that in between the streams of gold and that green there's just the right amount of green to make it pop surrounded by all that glitter and shimmer looks really nice I definitely want to use this mold again and make some different colors I mean you could do any occasion tray <laughs> so it'd be fun but I hope you've enjoyed this and I am going to put the um, link to the first video where I started this right up here at the top you can click on that and it will take you to the um, part one video and see how I started it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do that now and if you ring that bell you'll get notified when I upload future videos and uh, if you have any comments or questions please leave them below I love to hear your feedback and uh, the description of everything that I used will be listed in the description box below there's also some links to my social media pages if you want to follow those and uh, check out what I have on Facebook and then my Etsy shop and Instagram so I want to thank you for joining me and I hope to see you in my next creative escapade bye bye for now